Hi, boys and girls. So um, this is our lesson for Tidal. So please go on Tidal and you'll see this lesson. And this is for Group E, Beginning Violins. Now, today we're going to be talking about reading notes. Notes that are on the lines and spaces. This is very important practice because if I give you a new song, even though it's easy, it might be very difficult for you if you don't know the notes. So today, I want you to review the notes that I, I, I show you on the board, and I want you to be able to play the notes and recognize the notes. We can always work on rhythm, but if you don't recognize the line or the space and what finger it goes with, then you'll have a problem, okay? so. Let's jump on it right away. So we're reading notes today. Okay, boys and girls, here we have the notes on one string, just one string. And you'll notice that above each pitch, we have a number. Now, we all, we all know that zero means don't put any fingers down on your violin. So zero means it's an open string, no fingers. No fingers allowed. Zero. This is the open string D. Wait a minute, what's our D string? Here we have the E string. Here we have the A string. Here we have the D string. Wait a minute, this note is our open D. Zero, D, it all adds up. Look, D. So every time we see this note, every time we see this note, this pitch, right below, right below the bottom line, we know to play what note? This note third string D, okay? So every time, please remember that this is D. Now, if you want to write it down and make your own squiggly five lines, you can do that. It's in the book though, okay? So this is D, 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 D. Now, oh, wait a minute, E is first finger on the D string. E is first finger. Wait a minute. You mean the first tape, Mr. Fowler? On what string? On our D string. We put our first finger here. And now we're playing the note E. Now, boys and girls, we're playing the bottom line. What did he say? Bottom line is E. First finger on what string? The D string. So number one on the D string is E. It's our finger. Now, let's go to the next one. F sharp. F sharp is the second finger on what string? The D string. Let's find out. Let's find F sharp. Here's our D string, which is our third string. Okay. We put our first finger down. What's the name of this note? What's the name of this note? We know it's E. And our second note, boop, our second finger is F sharp. Our second is F sharp, guys. So whenever we see a note, a pitch that's on the bottom space, bottom space, anywhere on the bottom space, what finger are we using on the D string? Two. Second finger on the D string. All of these notes are on the D string. All of them. Okay, let's go to our next, G, third finger. Okay, so we have our open D, we have our first finger, we have our second finger, we have our third finger on the tape, and that note is what? G. So the second line is what? G on the D string. The second line is G on the D string. Does everyone see that? Now, we have our four notes. Open, zero, D, first finger, E, second finger, bottom space. That second finger is F sharp. 
And our third finger is G. One, two, three, four. Let's go to the A string notes. The A string notes. These, boys and girls, are the A string notes. All of these notes are on the A string. How do we know that? Because we're starting with A, and we have our four notes up to D. We are, uh, every string has its four notes. Every string has its four notes. So this is the A string. D string had its four notes. What were the names of the notes? D, E, F sharp, G. So now we're starting with A. A is open, zero. B, oh, wait a minute. These are the same lines and spaces as we've been practicing in class. B is always the middle line. Every good boy does fine. Every good boo, 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 boy. That is B, and it's B on violin. So this is B, first finger on the A string. C sharp. Here's our C sharp, second finger on what string? The A string. Here we have D, high D, and it's third finger on the A string. Let's find this out here. Here we have A, then we put our first finger, then we put our second finger C sharp, then we put our third finger high D. Wait a minute. It's the same pattern. Open one, two, three. Open one, two, three. On all strings, open one, two, three. Open one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. On all strings. Pattern! Love it! A, B, C sharp, high D. It's three, two, one, and zero. So we always start with zero. That's our open string. Then we have our first finger then second finger, then third finger. Those are our four notes for all, for, uh, for all strings. All strings have four. Wait a minute, let's do one more. Can we do one more? One more string? Let's go to the E string, yeah. <laughs> okay, last string. Last string, guys. But let's see what we recognize as a pattern. Okay, we have our oh, open, zero. We have our one. We have our two. And we have our three. Oh, yeah, good. Now we just have to know these letters down here, right? Because we already know we're on the E string. I told you that. So if we're on the E string and we're just playing zero, open strings, open E looks like that. The top space, here's the bottom, F, A, C, E. This is E. Then we have our top line, which is F sharp. Then above the line, we have G sharp. And then we have way up here with our little line through it is high A. Okay, so that's all on the E string. So let's figure that out on the E string. We have open E. We have first finger, F sharp. There it is, top line. First finger on the E string. All of these are on the E string. So that's F sharp. G sharp. Second finger. G sharp. Second finger. E string. Yes. And then third finger. A. All right. Now, does everyone understand the notes? We did the D string all the way down here. And we did E, then we did F sharp, then we did G, third, uh, second, second line. Then we started with the A, then we did B, then we did C sharp in here in that space. Then we did high D. Then now since we're on high D, we're going to E, the E string. And it's zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two. Zero is E, F sharp is one, G sharp is two, A is always high A, high A is always three on the E string. Please recognize these notes 
And now I'm going to put all of them on the board for you. And I, I want you to, if you ever have any problems, I'm going to take a picture of this and put this in the lesson, in the title lesson. I'm going to take a picture of this and put it in the title lesson. Today we're talking about reading notes. We're reading pitches so that you know at least what finger to use when you see a note. And I will write the fingers for you, okay? It'll be in the picture. So let me do that right now. I'm going to very quickly switch the board. Here we go. Wait a minute. I can't, I can't switch the board without snapping my fingers. Let me switch the board. And when I switch the board, you'll have all of the notes there. Snap my fingers. So boys and girls, here we have our three strings, the notes for all three strings, violin pitches. Here's the D string, we start on D. Here's the A string, we start on A. Here's the E string, we start on E. And all of, you know what I didn't do? Let me do this real fast. Can you help me? This is E. What goes above the E? What number goes above the E? Can you help me? Yes! You're right, zero, because it's open, E string. What is the number for this F sharp, this high F sharp? Do you know the number for that? Of course, it's the same pattern as in the other strings. Zero, one, let's put one here. What is the next G sharp? How do we play G sharp? This is G sharp, right? So how do we play G sharp? The pattern is two. We're on the E string, right? Are we on the E string? Yes. So what is our next number? The pattern says three. Let's put three here. Oh my gosh. We have all of the notes and look, we started way down here on the D string and we finish up way up here third finger on the A string. Let's look at the pattern again, the number pattern, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and that's what we have for our strings. Can you memorize how many notes is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 notes. Can you memorize 12 notes? Now, there's one last thing to this lesson. I'm going to write some music using these notes. Remember, I, the picture, use this picture in your lesson. Use this picture. And then you can play the music that I'm going to write after this. I'm going to snap my fingers again. And I'm going to have four notes up here. I'm not going to label them E or F sharp or D or A. I'm not going to put any fingers, numbers, above those four notes. I'm not going to do that. I want you to figure out the four notes. Let's look at this again. D. This is, e. you know what? I didn't even write it. Let me do this. E. This is F sharp. This is G. These are all capital because they're the low ones. Then we have A, B, and then we have C, and then little D. Then we have little uh, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. So I want you to make sure that you use your paper and figure out the four notes that I'm going to snap into, okay? Let me get ready to snap. And then you guys, treat, please try to figure out, please try to figure out the notes that I'm going to have on the board, okay? Let's snap. Okay, boys and girls. Here are our four quarter notes. One bow stroke for each. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What are these notes? Hmm. If I look back at the picture and title, I think I know this note. It's pretty easy. This. Hmm. Uh-oh. Here's a clue. Sharp. Okay. Oh, this is way at the top. I wonder what finger I use and what string. Hmm. 
do you guys know? I took a picture of these four notes and I put them in the lesson. So you have a picture, you have two pictures. You have a picture of all of the notes with their letters and with their numbers, the, for the fingers. And then you have this picture. This picture of the four blank notes. No letter, no number for any of these. Can you play these four notes? Figure them out. All right. Now, boys and girls, one last part. Now it's time to play the notes on your violin. The notes that we've been studying. The three strings, the D string, the A string. Wait a minute, there's no one in my room. There's no one in my room. Woo, I could take my mask off. Plus I have my air filter thing running, so it's cleaning the air, okay? So I'm all by myself. <laughs> Uh, guys, now it's time to play our violin and play the notes that we've been talking about in this lesson. We're going to start with the D string and then play E and then F sharp and then G. Then we're going to go to the A string and play open A, first finger, B, C sharp, D. Then we're going to go to the E string and play open E. No fingers. First finger, F sharp. Second finger, G sharp. And third finger, high A, right? I want you to actually play the notes so that when you see them, you see them in title, pick up your violin and play them. Put the right finger on the right string. That's all you have to do. The correct finger on the correct string. D, open D. I don't care how you play it. You can play fast, you can play slow. Remember our bow hand. Remember our bow hand. Remember the pinky is on the top. And then I'm going to turn it around. Let me go this way. See how my fingers are not just straight like this, but they're bent this way. They're leaning. See my pinky? And my second finger is on that metal thing. And my thumb is right there. And my first finger is on this metal thing. But it's on its side. It's on its side. It's not like this. It's on its side. My first finger is on its side. So there's the first finger, and it's just hanging there. And my pinky's on the top, and my third finger's right there. And this is our violin bow hand. Remember this? Remember this? Okay. How about rest position? Rest position. Right? Then, and, and by the way, boys and girls, if you want to pluck your string, I'm going to put my bow down, okay? If you want to pluck your strings with your thumb. You can learn the notes that way. Watch, I'll show you. Remember our thumb on top. Thumb on top. And I have my karate chop. Thumb on top, karate chop. And then... I'm playing my open D. Then my first finger E. Oh, that's what it looks like. Second finger F sharp, G. And look at my hand. Oh, then open A, plucking it with my thumb. First finger B, C sharp, and high D. Then I'm gonna go to my E. First finger, F sharp, G sharp, and then high A. Ah! Those are the three strings and those are the fingers for them. Let me play them now. Okay, I did it in rest position, plucking with my thumb on top. Plucking with my thumb on top. That's how you can figure out notes. Even in a song, you can figure out the notes. Just by plucking in rest position. That'll help you. Without the bow. Now I'm going to add the bow, okay? Remember to make sure that you put your sponge on. Please put your sponge on. Then, of course, when you're holding it up, make sure it's nice and level, not like this, not like this. Is it on your uh, chest or on your shoulder? 
Always on your shoulder, guys. Always on your shoulder. Not it's, This is not good. This is very good. Okay, let me play my open D. It's playing it. Now, first finger E. What's the next note? F sharp. I just made my own pattern. I'm going to make another pattern. Here's third finger G. Look. Third finger G on the D string. Open A. No fingers. First finger B. Second finger on the A string. That's our second string. Third finger. Oh, that's high D. Now open E. That was a long one. First finger F sharp. Second finger G sharp. One more. Third finger. <laughs> Man, I like that sound of that high A. The cart rings. Man, I like that. So, boys and girls, those are your strings. Those are your fingers. Make your own pattern when you're bowing. Please try it when in rest position and plucking first to get all to get everything straight in your head and with your fingers. Remember, thumb on top, karate chop. Now we just bend our fingers, make a box, right? Those are the notes we need to learn. All right. I hope you have fun with this lesson. I hope you learn the notes on the D, A, and the E string. Okay, bye-bye, guys.